Hello students, hope you all are doing well and making the most of this quarantine period. Today I'm going to start a series of videos based on class 12's English core CBSC paper. And this is going to be our first video. This video will be based on the question paper design for class 12th. Why uh, I have taken this up as my first video is because uh, whenever we undertake any journey, we all know that it is very important for us to have a look at the map of that place or um, for that matter of the way forward. And this question paper design is that map that is going to help us in undertaking this journey for the whole year. And that's the reason why I have taken this up. Uh, in this, uh, through this question paper design, we will uh, get a direction of, uh, of the course of study that we, we will have throughout this year. So it's better to have a look at that so that we, uh, we get a better picture, we get a clearer picture of that. So let's begin. So the question paper that we are going to have is uh, uh, divided into three sections. There are three sections in it, section A, section B and section C. These three sections are going to be there in order to test different language or literary skills that you have or you must have developed by this time. The first section is to test your reading skills, how well you can read an English text and how well you can comprehend it. That is being tested by section A. The second section of your question paper is called section B, the advanced writing skills section. Here you are supposed to write various kinds of uh, uh, pieces for various purposes like uh, uh, they can be for commercial or official purposes like you might be uh, you, you are expected to write letters to uh, officials or letters to editors or uh, you are uh, also expected to write articles for magazines so these are the different kinds of language skills that you are expected to have at this stage uh, of your uh, student life where uh, you will be uh, you will be asked to write a variety of content from notices and advertisements to speeches and debates uh, so this is the section b of your question paper which will which carries a heavy weightage of 30 marks and going to test your writing skills then the third section of your question paper is going to be the literature or the textbook part here it will test your literary skills how well you can understand and appreciate the literary content or the literary pieces that have been given to you in your prescribed textbooks. So uh, let's begin with the section A of the question paper. Section A, reading comprehension. As the name itself suggests, uh, it, it uh, tests whether you are able to comprehend, whether you are able to understand any English text by way of reading it. And there are two ways of uh, checking or uh, two ways of text, uh, testing that. One is by uh, giving you an unseen passage and asking you a variety of questions. So this comprises your first question where you will be given a uh, um, of a 400 to 500 words unseen passage and there will be some questions and they will be objective type questions which will be from this passage and you will, you will have to answer those questions the questions would be of variety uh, would be of different variety uh, like mcqs will be there there will be short answer type questions there will be vocabulary based questions these questions will test how well you can understand an unseen english text then uh, the second passage the second unseen passage in this section will be there which uh, is going to uh, test whether whatever content you have read in english language are you able to uh, uh, are you able to write summarize make notes on that particular text or not so how well you understand uh, an english text or an english piece uh, you will be uh, you are expected to write a good summary on it or you you are expected to make notes on that so these are the two kind of questions that you, uh, that will be there in the section a of your paper so uh, these passages these two unseen passages will comprise will comprise 20 marks of the whole question paper it's a big chunk and it is not something that uh, you you need to uh, prepare uh, in advance for because this is something that you gradually develop you learn these skills over a period of time this is not something that you can uh, cram up uh, uh, days before examination or uh, in a single year this is the skill that you develop throughout the throughout your school life this is the skill that you uh, accumulate over a period of time so um, but we can still we can still improve ourselves 
how we can improve ourselves by uh, reading newspapers, by reading a variety of English texts, the, the prescribed textbooks uh, of Flamingo and Vistas that are there in your syllabus. If you read them well, if you read every lesson well, you will get a good hold over your reading skills. You, you will develop them well and you will be able to understand any foreign text that is given to you uh, on the day of the examination as well. So these are the two passages that you have to attempt. In one, you have to answer certain questions and in the other, you have to make notes and also write summary based on that particular passage. Uh, now let's move on to the second section of the question paper. The, sec uh, the second section is section B uh, called advanced writing skills. These writing skills uh, uh, are uh, the skills uh, um, that we have been uh, learning in our previous classes as well like uh, notice writing or letter writing um, or essays or you, you are writing essays you are writing articles also uh, so there is nothing new as such but they are advanced because you are now uh, you are you are supposed to be an informed uh, person who knows about the uh, about the happenings around the world and who has his or her opinion on the events around you for example now we have the uh, the spread of coronavirus all over the world you are uh, uh, expected to be well aware of it you are expected to be able to uh, write about your own opinions and views on it so you must have this kind of uh, uh, this kind of advancement in your writing skills so that you can attempt such things so in this section there are a variety of questions again and uh, these questions start from short composition uh, go over to very long composition through long composition. So the first question will be short composition uh, question. Here you will have notice writing, advertisements, uh, you will also have um, invitations and their replies and you, you can also be um, asked to make poster. So these are the different kinds of uh, uh, topics that will be covered within short composition and there will be an internal choice in this question. Then the uh, next question in this section will be letter writing. Here there are different kinds of letter. There is no personal letter. There is no um, informal letter in uh, class 12. So you will have a variety of official or business letters, uh, formal letters like uh, complaint letter, letter to authorities or uh, you will have placing order, business uh, letters like placing order, cancelling order application for job will be there letters to editors will be there so these are the different kinds of letters that we have to learn to write and uh, this question will be based on that this question will be of six marks and here you will be uh, expected to write between 120 to 150 words and uh, uh, there will again be an internal choice in this question also you will have two different kinds of letters you have to attempt any one moving on to the next question we will have very long composition here which will be of uh, 10 marks and you are expected to write somewhere between 150 to 200 words and this question is uh, uh, again an internal choice question here you have to attempt either an article or uh, a report so e either you have to write an article about any uh, topic of uh, um, any topic which is which is based on the current happenings around the world in your country in your locality so such topics generally comes for these questions or you will be expected to write a report. So the reports are uh, majorly based on uh, school level events or newspaper reports uh, of uh, what is happening outside in the world and you are expected to write on that. And then the last question uh, is again a very long composition question. Here you have to write either a speech or a debate. There will be an internal choice. You have to uh, attempt any of these. And again, this is also of 10 marks carries the same weightage and the word limit is also same you have to write somewhere between 150 to 200 words with this our section b is over but uh, here it's very important to remember that this is the section where you have to write uh, from your own mind there is nothing that you have to cram up from the books there is nothing that you have to remember from the prescribed text this is all over in your head head and you have to be very aware of your surroundings of the current happenings you have to be a very informed student if you are that and you are learning well and you have your language skills uh, pretty uh, pretty well developed then you can easily attempt this uh, section and you can score well through it because it carries 30 marks now let's move on to the last section of this question paper which is literature and textbook now this is the section which is based on the 
uh, on the prescribed textbooks in our uh, syllabus which are uh, flamingo and vistas these are the two books that we have one is main reader flamingo is the main reader while vistas is the supplementary reader now you must be wondering what's the difference between the two some of the students do not know what is the difference between the uh, main reader and the supplementary reader well the main reader is the book that you have to uh, read in depth that you have to uh, delve uh, into different aspects of every lesson every lesson that is there every poem that is there but the supplementary reader is the book that you have to uh, you know read cursorily means you have to read it for your enjoyment you have to enjoy the story and you have to just uh, uh, glide through the story you don't need to stop every now and then and uh, learn the meaning of every single word or phrase and every single aspect of the line and the lesson the paragraph no that is not expected from you in this particular text you are just expected to read uh, in order to just glide through the text glide through the lessons and then be aware of the themes that have been taken up you don't have to uh, go too much into the literary aspects of the uh, of the lessons in this particular reader so coming over or um, over to the section C, here we will have uh, four kinds of questions in section C. The first question is extract based question. This uh, question will be divided into two parts. The first part of it will be based on poetry extract. Uh, in the Flamingo, the main reader that we have, we have both uh, prose section and the poetry section. So in the poetry section, we have many poems starting from my mother at 66 uh, to a roadside stand. Uh, so there will be any one poem in this particular question. There will be some, uh, there will be a stanza or some lines from this poem and you are expected to answer uh, questions based on these lines. Uh, this question, this part of the first question of section C will be of four marks. And every single question will be of one mark. So you will have four questions, four marks, one uh, uh, mark for every question. Then uh, the second part of this question is again an extract based question. But this time it is from a prose, uh, from a lesson from the prose section. So you will have certain lines taken up from any of the lesson that lesson that is there in the Flamingo in the first book in your syllabus. And uh, uh, you have to identify uh, from which lesson these lines have been taken and uh, you might be asked uh, other questions from uh, based on these lines. So again the, there will be four questions and every question will carry one mark and uh, total marks will be four. So the total marks of this question divided into two marks will be four plus four means eight. This question is of 8 marks. It's an extract based question, very easy to attempt. We will come into it later on. Second question of this part is short answer type questions. Here you will be given 7 8 questions out of which you have to attempt any 4 and you have to briefly answer those questions. The questions will be from both the books Flamingo as well as Vistas and Poetry as well as Prose. And uh, you have to uh, answer them very briefly because every question carries only two marks. And since you have to answer five uh, questions, the total weightage of this question becomes five into two, that is 10 marks. The next question will be a long answer type question from Flamingo, uh, the main video. You, there will be an inter internal choice again in this question. So there will be two questions from Flamingo. You have to attempt any one. Uh, this question tries to, uh, uh, tries to gauge uh, what kind of understanding you have developed uh, about various issues, themes, characters, plot of different lessons. So that understanding will be tested through, uh, uh, through this uh, question and it will carry 6 marks and you have to write uh, somewhere between 120 to 150 words. Then the last question of this section is again a long answer type question. Here you have to uh, answer question from the other book which is Vistas. There will be again internal choice in this question too. You will have two uh, questions from two uh, different lessons of Vistas and you have to attempt any one of those in 120 to 150 words and, and again the question carries 6 marks. So the total weightage of this section becomes 30 marks and it's uh, a very important section. So uh, the books that we are going to undertake in the, uh, in the videos that will come uh, after this, we will take up these lessons gradually and try to understand every aspect of them based on author, plot, theme, issues, characters uh, and important questions that have appeared in the CBSC examination year after year. We will take up all of those one by one. So that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching this video.